G'day guys, these are uh, EZ30s. Engines are quite hard to fill with coolant. Thought I'd make a little video on um, my woes with it. Um, cooling systems rely on pressure. Um, if there's air bubbles in the system, the system doesn't pressurise and boils faster. Subarus are particularly prone to uh, wearing out the caps, um, weakening the caps. So make sure you use a genuine cap. It is a unique cooling system, as in there's two sides to the engine with the boxer. And um, yeah, I've had a gurgling heater core and stuff like that. So I've lifted the car up here and hoist. And um, I found it just keeps on taking coolant. Um, as the engine purges itself of bubbles so be patient fill it slowly um, never fill the uh, coolant straight up um, always try and mix it with water or add water in between because it's so thick that it um, can get yet yeah, cause airlocks uh, you don't want to get your first airlock um, And you want stable water. See as the bubbles are purging out um, of the cooling system. Anyway, yeah, um, interesting subject. Um, I know they're prone to head gaskets and um, all sorts of cooling system failures, but yeah, with Subarus, best to use original thermostats, radiator caps, uh, water pumps, and radiators. Let me know if you want any other vids. I know quite a bit about this car. Um, indestructible, three litre, flat six. Uh, you can see the marks from the coolant over here before when I open the cap. As you can see, uh, can you see? There's cooling, the coolant level has dropped again. And this goes on and on and on. You might think you've filled your cooling system and you haven't and it leads to no end of trouble, including cavitation within the uh, engine system, cooling system, which is when bubbles uh, and turbulent water uh, wear out parts that aren't designed to be exposed to that sort of turbulence. Yeah, gurgling heater core in the car would be the beginning of it to indicate that, uh, but don't necessarily uh, rely on that. You might have the car suddenly overheat in uh, events where you are not moving fast like in the drive through um, Happened to me this morning at Macca's. I don't go to Macca's much in the mornings, but I did today and there was a bit of a queue. It was about five minutes, which is like five hours at McDonald's, isn't it? But um, that was enough to set my fans off and um, I've realized that I've not done the right thing by this car. Uh, I always fill the cooling system slowly, uh, but this one is particularly bad. Um, anyway, yeah, hope it helps.